Can you build the atoms for the missing elements? Yes, you absolutely can. And I'm about to show you how. It's kind of fun and it's easy. So you're gonna click this link and you're gonna to go to this website, how are elements different from one another? Click this play button and watch the video. But for the sake of time, I'm gonna skip it, but it's a good video and you should watch. So then you come to a page like this where it has seven random missing elements from the periodic table. So your job is you have to complete at least five to get five points, but I encourage you to do all seven. So here's how easy it is. We're practicing what we learned in class. What we learned is how to calculate the protons, neutrons, and electrons of any element. So this is BE, it, its atomic number is four, and its atomic mass is 9.012. But for this game, all you need to pay attention to is the atomic number. So that tells us the number of protons. So I'm gonna use this little slider until I get to four. Four shows me the atom because, I mean the element, because every atom with four uh, protons is beryllium. So now I need to remember the rule about the electrons. Do you remember the rule about electrons? The rule is that the electrons are the same number as the protons. So now I'm gonna slide this up to four. Come on. Ooh, it's sensitive. It doesn't want me to get to four though. All right, there it is. So it's got four protons, four electrons. Now, this says that it's an unstable nucleus. So that is not a completed atom. In order for the atom to be stable, it has to have a certain number of neutrons to, I like to say, keep the peace between all the protons in the nucleus that are trying to push away from each other. Because just like the north end of a magnet near another north end of a magnet, they are pushing away. So here's what I do. First, give it the same number of neutrons as the other two numbers, so as protons and electrons, so four. And check, did that make this unstable nucleus sign go away? In this case, it didn't. So now I'm gonna add one and see if the sign goes away. In this case, it did. When you get up to the bigger atoms in the periodic table, it'll take quite a few neutrons to stabilize the nucleus. But in this case, that sign went away. Now I have four protons, four electrons, and five neutrons. Let's see if that works. It worked. Let me do a harder one. So this is plutonium. What a great element. This is element number 78. So I need to give it 78 protons. There it is. Ooh, I was wrong. It was platinum. I thought it was plutonium. Oops. How many electrons does it need? Well, same number as protons. 78. Okay, so now I have an unstable nucleus. Very unstable. It has 78 protons in there trying to escape. So I need to give it at least 78, but as you can see, none of these numbers even around 78 are making that unstable nucleus sign go away. So I'm gonna keep adding more. It's always gonna take a few more. And I'm just gonna keep moving it up slowly until I see that unstable nucleus sign go away. We're getting pretty high, we're in a, oh, I saw it go away. Oh, it looks like 112, exactly 112. So there you have it. That's how we fill in the missing elements on the periodic table.